Oh yes, it's time for another episode of Tasting Britain's Low Star Takeaways. Howie, here we go. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys. I'm in the town of Jarrow, small town in the northeast of England. Today we're going to be trying some one star food from the Golden Bull. It's a fish and chip shop but I've found out it's also a Chinese takeaway as well. So that sounds a bit iffy. I've got a friend called Gary, Ari Gazmate, who lives in Jarrah. I asked him about this place. He said he's never tried it, but when he drives past, it doesn't look the best. So I'm just the man dingo to try that out. So I think I'm gonna get some fish and chips, maybe some battered sausage, corned beef patty, curry sauce, mushy peas, something like that. We'll get back in the old Van Dingo and we'll give it a bash. Oh, oh yeah! You know what I'm talking about, Van Dingoes. How eh? Ah. Uh... Okay then my fansexuals, I've just been having a walk around the little town of Jarrah and while I was walking about I've stumbled across the Golden Bull Chippy. Didn't look the best to be honest but why not give it a try. I know it's been given a one star food hygiene rating from the local council but that doesn't mean the food's going to be horrible. The food could actually be nice. They might have a, a filthy kitchen or some other reason why they've getting one star, but you never know, the food might be decent. And um, I've noticed there's some parking spots right outside or just down on the road, so we're gonna drive around in the old John Claude Van Sexual. We'll get parked up, get some food, and then we'll get in the back and do some munching glad back. Oh, oh yes, you better believe it, Manding goes. Here we go. Right, folks, we've just parked up. The Golden Bull is along there. Let's go along and get this food.
So I'm just going to keep the camera pointing ahead. I like to pour it down when we go in. Yeah, I'll keep the camera pointing down so no one knows I'm recording. Here we go, Mandingos. Sausage and a corned beef patty as well, please. All right, no bother. Thank you. Cheers. So I've just came outside for five minutes because they're cooking the fish fresh. That's a good thing. I'm not filled with confidence like the place was like a cross between a chip shop, a bad calf, and a Chinese takeaway, stroke restaurant. So I'm not expecting anything extra special. But <laughs> if you've watched my videos long enough, guys, you'll know that I like my food. And you'll know that I normally eat everything. Anyway, the cleanliness of the place, it wasn't the best to be honest. The windows were pretty dirty. Like I say, I don't want to be slagging places off and putting places down. But I've got to tell you the truth, or well, there's no point doing these reviews. It wasn't the cleanest, and it doesn't, it doesn't look the nicest of takeaways. But I'm hungry, so we'll try it. And I'll tell you what I think about it. <laughs> you better believe I will. I wouldn't. Let's get back in there and get this food. Right. Yeah, that's mine. Yes, please, one four. Smashing. That'll ding dang do for me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry, love. I've got it. Thank you. See you later. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. So I've got the food, guys. Let's get back in the old Van Dingo. Mm. 
let's go and get parked up somewhere and have a feast. You know it makes sense. Oh yes. Okay then guys, let's have a look and see what we've got. Fish and chips. To be honest, the chips look absolutely rank. The fish is buried underneath, can I see it? It doesn't look the best if I'm being honest, but you never know, it might taste nice. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. Corned beef patty. Jumbo sausage. Our matron. And we've also got, there's a fork. Mushy peas. You gotta have mushy peas when you have a fish lot. And some curry sauce. Smells nice. Smells like nice Chinese style curry. That'll certainly do for this man, Dingo. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna get stuck in. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yes guys, time to get stuck in. Where am I gonna go for first? The chips look absolutely rank. So let's give them a go. That's where the curry sauce comes in handy. Now, the curry sauce is really nice. I'm gonna to have to try a couple of chips, just like this, so I can give an honest taste on them. And they're pretty poor. Oh, not very nice at all. They look scabby, they look shite. But sometimes, you know, you can get chips that look a little bit well done and you try them and they're lovely nah I'll still eat a few more because I paid good money for them and the curry sauce is pretty nice so get that dipped in there man thing goes oh yeah not bad with the curry sauce on we'll have a couple more I mean look at that Nearly every chip is scabby. See, that's the thing. My favorite food, my favorite takeaway is the traditional English fish and chips. You cannot whack it. Now, sometimes you'll get the Chinese or people from other parts of Asia and they might have a nice Chinese, or they might have a nice pizza shop, but they start doing fish and chips as well, and they just can't do it as good as the old traditional British fish and chips. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Anyway, let's have a bite of this sausage. Oh, matron. Now that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That tastes pretty much the same is a battered sausage I've had from any other takeaway. So, yeah, no complaints there. I mean, how can you make a nice battered sausage? Terrible chips, I don't get that. The chips, they've got to be the most easiest thing to get right. There you go. Mm, decent sausage. Get it in the peas. Oh yes, oh yes. That will ding dang do for me, as they say in the south of France. The peas seem okay. How can they not be? It's just peas, 
Jesus. They kind of get the peas right. And then they can't get anything right. Yep, yeah, no complaints with the sausage, the peas, and the curry sauce. I'll leave a bit of that. Anything I'm leaving, I'm going to take the work from my bait. Because it's, it's quarter past 12 now. And I start work at 3 o'clock. So, like I say, any leftovers will come to work. I don't know about the chips though. Corn beef patty. Now I love a corn beef patty. When you're skint <laughs> and you can't afford fish and chips, corn beef patty and chips always does for this mandingo. Nice and hot. Smells nice. Let's have a taste without putting any curry or anything on it. No. Not greasy. The sausage wasn't greasy either. Lovely taste to it. It's got like, the corned beef and the potato and onion all mixed in together. And for me, yeah, just like the sausage, that's as good. That's as good as any corned beef patty I've had from any fish and chip shop. So, no complaints there either, man, dingoes. Now I'm saving the best to last, the fish. Like I said, I love a fish and chip shop. Fish and chips is my favorite meal in the world. Now, I started reading a few reviews on Google couple of days ago I see a few I think I only read one and two the very first review I read for the Golden Bull was someone wrote um, the worst fish and chips I've ever had in all my life so I think I read one more comment after that which was it was decent so I think someone was commenting about the Chinese food so and they said the Chinese food was okay now for the main event the old fish let's have a look back is soggy but I'm not too fussy I'm not one of these ones that will complain just because the back is soggy some people like it a bit soggy and some people like it nice and crisp mm. yeah it is a bit crispy on the outside a bit soggy on the inside that doesn't bother me I'm just getting the part of the fish there, like the thick part, and up and out. That. That tastes okay. I certainly wouldn't say it's the worst fish and chips I've ever had. Hey, what I think you'll find is most people that leave reviews. It's the people that complain, isn't it? If you have a good meal, you don't normally leave a review. Because you expect to have a good meal. It should be good. That's why you're paying good money. But when you get a bad one, that's when people like to twist on and leave a review. Me personally, I wouldn't leave a re review anywhere. If I got a bad one, I wouldn't go online and leave a bad review. Because you never know, it might just be a one-off. I know I'm doing a review now, but I'll always try and be nice. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever say somewhere it's terrible unless it's really, really bad. Now that isn't a bad bit of fish at all. No complaints here. <clears throat> Let's give a chip another go. <laughs> they might get better as I'm eating it. They're not going to like, are they? Yeah. Nice in the curry sauce. No curry sauce on. Nah. Probably the worst chips I've ever had. Yeah. Really, really poor. Sausage. Spot on corned beef patty, spot on, now the fish, well, I 
can't complain, put it that way. Let's have a little bit more. And it's a decent sized portion as well. Oh guys, look at that. Nice bit of flesh. Ah. I don't know what happened when someone's left that bad review about the fish. But there's nothing wrong with that. I went to a fish and chip shop the other day, which has opened up not far from where I live. It's a brand new fish and chip shop. There's been like a million pounds spent on it and everyone's raving on about how nice it is. And there's a chip shop just along the road that we normally go to, but we thought we'll give the new one a go. And to be honest, I was really, really disappointed. And the price you paid for it was like me, my wife, Mrs. Blot, and my son, Little Blot. And after we've got fish and chips, and we've got like curry sauce and peas, it was like 50 pound. After we left like a little tip as well, so it come to like over 50 pound. And I was really disappointed. You know, I said, uh, I'm not going back there. I'm like, not for that price. I like a bargain, mate. So considering this has got one star, and that one we've just been to the other day had five star, I can't really fault this at all. Like I say, some people, some people might put this down because of the soggy batter, but I'm not too fussy. I'm not too fussy at all. Uh, guys, I'm not going to eat all this. You know, I'm not doing like a food challenge where I'm eating loads. I'm just trying a few different bits and pieces from a low star takeaway. Because I think, although, yes, the bro will start in the kitchens, could be dirty. <laughs> the food could be getting stored badly. They know what to do with the paperwork and loads of other reasons where I'm here to find low star takeaways that do decent food. And this, it is certainly decent. What scores am I going to give Mandingos? Well, I'm going to give it a steady 5 out of 10. And some people might think, oh, I thought you were going to give a little bit more there, Chris. I thought you were going to give a bit more there, Mandingo. Because you said nearly everything's nice. Yeah. But the chips were absolutely rotten. Now, this is all fun. It's all a good laugh sitting there talking to you legends. But if we treated ourselves in getting this for a meal, to take home and the fish was nice and the chips were shite well that's pretty much your meal round isn't it there's no point having a nice fish and shite chips so if they can sort the chips out honestly it'll be a pretty good fish and chip shop there was lots of people coming in I noticed when I wasn't recording and getting Chinese food to take out during the day you know it's Wednesday today so the Chinese food must be decent because all the locals seem to be buying it. Yep, but I've got no complaint to this man dingo. I'm going to give it a steady, solid five out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh yes, you better believe I am. Okay then guys, I'm going to have a little bit more flesh. Pardon me. And then I'm going to wrap it up. That's for me to take to work later on today. Oh God, pardon me. I'm now going to drive home. Oh, sorry. I'm going to leave you with some bloopers now, guys. A few bloopers off my last three or four videos. Apologies in advance for the bad language. There's lots of swearing, but that can't be helped because it's just, it's what I'm saying at the time when I'm making mistakes recording when I'm camping and stuff like that. Anyway, enjoy the bloopers, man, dingoes. And when I bring you back, I'll be back home and we'll jump back in the old van, dingo, and we'll do a world-famous Waski with you. Oh, yeah. You know what makes total sense. You better believe it is, guys. You know it makes total sense.
lice. Fucking hell, I didn't have to talk a load of shit, Mick. It's that bad when it was beat, but it's dead. Fuck's sake. Time for a little chess warmer. Oh, yes. Lice. See what it's like. I couldn't even see what I was doing. For fuck's sake, man. Oh. Mm -hmm. Waski with you. Coming up, guys, in just a few seconds. You better believe it is. Air Matron. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All that just for that. Oh, bacon, I'll put that on your bag in a second. <laughs> Fuck sake. Well, what, a, up either, it? what a couple of wankers. That's all up either. That's all right. <laughs> Why are you sober? All right, man, dingoes, we've just parked up in the Hendon area of Sunderland. Spit there again, Chris, fuck's sake. All right, my fansexuals, me and little Schmick. They've just came round the back of the Chinese takeaway. I think we've got about 15 minutes to wait. We're hungry now. Little Mick's belly is growling. <laughs> you don't want to keep him waiting when he's hungry. He gets very angry, don't you, Mick? <laughs> yes, guys. As soon as we get the food, we're going to jump back in. Ah, uh, fuck off. That's it, guys. We're back. Fuck off. <laughs> Fingering his dog's arse on Jack's rig. <laughs> Raking his dog's arse out on Jack's rig. <laughs> 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 Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> I can put that bit in the was, can't I? Give me these dog's ass and Jack's wick. <laughs> yeah, start again. <laughs> well, guys. We've settled in nice. We've had a couple of cans. We're just starting to really enjoy ourselves now. It'll be great. Oh man, that's fucking shit. Fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, guys. Pitch black now, as you can see. Haven't recorded anything for a couple of hours. As you know, I'm out stealth camping every weekend and Coming away here with the lads of the lakes, that's a treat for me. This is just, well, I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, that's fucking cock. Hello, man dingoes. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Britain's Fuck Off. That's fucking shit. <laughs> Okay than my fansexuals, I've parked up just round the corner from the takeaway. Um, shit. Yeah, I went. Okay than my fansexual. Oh, okay than my fansexuals, I've parked up. Just around the corner from the takeaway. Going to get oh for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> so welcome back, man dingoes, to the Blot Outdoor Show. Yeah, back out on another stealth camp. I'm in this business park. 
which has loads of buildings. It's got the Gen 2 offices there. Oh, that's fucking shit. Okay, folks, back in the old stinking. Ah, it's fucking shite. Fucking stinking. <laughs> okay, my fansexuals, I'm back in the old. Ah. Uh, Start again. Right, folks, that's the hot dogs done. Let's get them popped in. The old bonding goes. Go oh, here, man, you fucking bastard. For fuck's sake, man. We'll cut that bit out. Ho ho, yeah! You know what time these man dingoes. Waski time. And this is what we've got this time. Taliska. 10 year old single malt scotch whiskey. This has been kindly given to me from a legend by the name of Mark Moya. Cheers Mark, my man friend. Very much appreciated. Well guys, no messing about. Let's get this popped in. The old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. Oh, oh yes. Alrighty guys, let's get the old Schneckeroni in it. Oh, straight away, that's got a lovely, nice, fresh smell. I'm getting some faint smoke. Just in the distance, not too strong. Mm hmm. And I'm also getting a little bit sweetness, maybe pears. And a few spices coming through there. Definitely a little bit sweet and spicy. Anyway, Manding goes, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. Mm. Whoa. Some definite intense black pepper spices. And maybe a little taste of chilies as well. It has got a little bit of a kick to it. And a little bit of tungle. <laughs> I mucked that one up, didn't I? <laughs> a little bit tingle on the old tongue dingo. Man dingoes. That was easy for me to say. <laughs> I'm getting the smokiness and the taste. Just a medium level of smoke. So that's not too bad. A nice medium level of smoke is just right. Mm. And I'm getting an aftertaste. A sugary aftertaste. And also like barley as well. Like a sugary barley thing coming through there. Mmm. Yeah, definite chilli and black peppers there coming through. A good bit of a kick to it. Lots of spices. A little bit smoke. I'm not getting any fruit in the taste. Yeah, I'm getting like a fruity pear thing going on in the smell. But I think them, the smoke and the, the black pepper and the chilies is overpowering in the taste. If you like a, a one with a nice peppery kick... This could be the one for you guys. Taliska, 10 year old, single malt scotch waski. Given to me from Mark Moyer. Cheers, Mark. I'm going to give that a decent, nice and steady, decent 7 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes, you better believe I am. And you know what makes total sense. You know what I'm talking about. This 
the serious wasky tasting. Well, guys, I'm going to just finish this last bit off. Mm. I'm going to get sorted soon. I have got work at three o'clock. I've got an hour to get sorted. I know you'll be thinking you shouldn't be drinking before work. It's just a little miniature. It's not going to do anyone any harm, is it, guys? Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read everyone Mandingos. And I will see you on Sunday on my next epic stealth camp. You better believe how the landing goes. Right. Oh, Air Mason.